The effort to start Amtrak passenger service between New Orleans and Mobile is moving forward. Senator Roger Wicker was on the coast today to talk about the economic impact on South Mississippi. I caught up with him to discuss that, a big new contract for Ingalls, and to get a quick take from him on the race for the White House. Here with Senator Roger Wicker. Uh, Senator, we are about, well, less than 50 yards from the railroad tracks in downtown uh, Gulfport. And Amtrak, after years of talk and $120 million invested, looks like it might finally be on track and good to go. Do you feel confident about that? Yes, it is a certainty. It's going to start early next year. Uh, there, there are no further bureaucratic holdups after the first of the year. Sometime, uh, hopefully in February or soon thereafter, we will have uh, twice a day service to New Orleans and Mobile and uh, these three Gulf Coast counties. Now Mobile and CSX, primarily Mobile, kind of the last holdouts, they finally agreed. Uh, do you think this is going to be a profitable route? I mean, do you think this Amtrak service from New Orleans to Mobile across the coast is going to turn a profit? Are you confident? Well, I think it is going to leave an economic benefit that will be a benefit to the taxpayers. For sure, yes. Amtrak was not intended to to run a, at a profit, but but mainly to sort of break even. And it, it's something that it's something that has worked in um, in areas like the Gulf Coast, and it will work again. And, and also, but there are other benefits. There's a safety issue. Uh, if we can get people who've had dinner in New Orleans or Mobile to to get off the interstate and Come, uh, come back on a train, let someone else drive them home, uh, that's a safety benefit. Our highways are getting crowded, so this will alleviate traffic uh, on the interstates and on U.S. highways, getting back and forth between New Orleans and Mobile. So there are, there are a number of economic benefits. Let's go over to the east end of the Mississippi Coast, Ingalls Shipyard. A uh, $1.2 billion four-ship contract with the U.S. Navy announced on the, over the last few days. And that's good news for Jackson County. Ingalls and really all of Mississippi and America. Oh, absolutely. It's good news for job creation here on the Gulf Coast. But, you know, there uh, really there are about 40 states that manufacture components of our battleships that we that we assemble uh, in a final form here on the Gulf Coast. So it really it's a nationwide uh, benefit to uh, manufacturing. Uh, but, but also almost every uh, expert that you see including the, the recent authors of the National Defense Strategy say that we are very, very short on the number of ships that, that we need. We need 355 ships or more. That's a statutory requirement that I had put in the law several years ago. Let's talk about the biggest story, not just in America, but in the world, and that is the presidential election. Uh, former President Trump, Vice President Kamala Harris, I uh, personally, I'm not even looking at the polls. I think this thing is a dead heat, 50-50. What are your thoughts? Well, it's uh, it's been a dead heat. The last two races decided by a few states, uh, both in 2016 and 2020. I don't see any reason uh, why it would be a runaway this time. 